Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for Holy Saturday or Easter Eve, Saturday 30th of March 2024. This space, this liminal space today between the cross and resurrection is a day of rest and reflection. But also if we're truthful, if you're preparing for worship tomorrow, a day of much busyness as well. I pray that as we pray morning prayer together, we can find this time to be a time of resting and stopping and being in this space together as we prepare for the joy of Easter. Saturday morning prayer, following along using the ePray Daily app, which you can download free from the App Store on your device, is on page 419. Our psalm is Psalm 30, and our reading from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 4. Before we begin, I acknowledge that this service is being recorded on the unceded sovereign lands of the Awabakal and Moromai peoples. The Awabakal and Moromai peoples are the custodians of these lands, and the Awabakal peoples are the custodians of the lands on which St Peter's Hamilton stands on. I pay my respects to Elders past and present, and to First Nations peoples joining in this service today. With the Diocese and Cathedral community, I'm committed to the work of Makarata, of reconciliation, of seeking for justice for all peoples, and recognising the first step in that journey is repenting of sins of past and present, listening with humility to the wisdom of the elders, and walking gently on these sacred lands. Page 419, or following along in the ePray Daily app, Saturday morning prayer. We make our prayer in the name of the Holy Trinity, made known to us as the Creator, the Redeemer, and the Sanctifier of the world. Amen. God has shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Our opening canticle, A Song of Creation. Bless the Lord, all created things, who is worthy to be praised and exalted for ever. Bless the Lord, all people of the earth, who is worthy to be praised and exalted for ever. O people of God, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, you priests of the Lord. Bless the Lord, you servants of the Lord, who is worthy to be praised and exalted for ever. Bless the Lord, all you of upright spirit. Bless the Lord, you that are holy and humble in heart. Bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, who is worthy to be praised and exalted forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 30. If you're using an Australian prayer book, it's page 249. Or following on in the ePray Daily app. Psalm 30. I will exalt you, O Lord, for you have drawn me up from the depths, and have not suffered my foes to triumph over me. O Lord my God, I cried to you, and you have made me whole. You brought me back, O Lord, from the land of silence. You saved my life from among those that go down to the pit. Sing praises to the Lord, all you his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For if in his anger is havoc, in his good favour is life. Heaviness may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. In my prosperity, I said, I shall never be moved. Your goodness, O Lord, has set me on so firm a hill. Then you hid your face from me, and I was greatly dismayed. I cried to you, O God, and made my petition humbly to my Lord. What profit is there in my blood if I go down to the pit? Can the dust give you thanks or declare your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and be merciful. 
O Lord, be my helper. You have turned my lamentation into dancing. You have put off my sackcloth and girded me with joy, that my heart may sing your praise and never be silent. O Lord, my God, I will give you thanks forever. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing you have made, and you forgive the sins of all who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts, that we, lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may obtain from you, the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 4, beginning at the first verse. Therefore, while the promise of entering his rest is still open, let us take care that none of you should seem to have failed to reach it. For indeed the good news came to us just as it did to them, but the message they heard did not benefit them, because they were not united by faith with those who listened. For we who have believed enter that rest, just as God has said, As in my anger I swore they shall not enter my rest though his works were finished at the foundation of the world. For in one place it speaks about the seventh day as follows, And God rested on the seventh day from all his works. And again in this place it says, They shall not enter my rest. Since, therefore, it remains open for some to enter it, and those who formerly received the good news failed to enter because of disobedience, again he sets a certain day, today, saying, that through David much later, in the words already quoted, Today if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. For if Joshua had given them rest, God would not speak later about another day. So then a Sabbath rest still remains for the people of God, for those who enter God's rest also cease from their labours as God did from his. Let us therefore make every effort to enter that rest, so that no one may fall through such disobedience. As theirs. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. For this morning's canticle, we're going to say a song of the word of the Lord on page 426. A song of the word of the Lord. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked abandon their ways and the unrighteous their thoughts. Return to the Lord who will have mercy, to our God who will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. As the rain and the snow come down from above, and return not again but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread to eat. <coughs> Sorry. So is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me fruitless, but it will accomplish that which I purpose, and succeed in the task I gave it. <coughs> Apologies. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. O God, creator of heaven and earth, mercifully grant that as the crucified body of your dear Son was laid in the tomb and rested on this holy Sabbath, 
so we may await with him the dawning of the third day and rise with him to newness of life, who now lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. In place of our prayer today, this reflection from this book by Sam Portaro, Sense and Sensibility, a Lenten Exploration. My thanks to my friend Nicolette, who, knowing my love of Sam Portaro, gifted me this book. Sam Portaro writes, I've long appreciated this day as one of quiet absence. Where the Eucharist is shared on Good Friday, the elements are consumed from sacramental reserves and properly depleted, leaving an empty tabernacle or ornery. Symbolically, Christ has died and is not among us. Inviting and allowing that absence to pervade this particular day honours the sense and sensibility of Christian liturgy. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? asks the old spiritual. If one is truly present to Good Friday, it's only right that we should feel the profound loss of that day's realities, the holy hangover of Holy Saturday. On this day, our senses are filtered through emotional loss. Grief dulls the appetite. Sadness alters the visual perspective. The silencing of a familiar voice ushers a palpable hush. Flowers intended for open gardens smell different within funeral confines. In the absence of the beloved, the warmth of another's embrace assures connection with the world, affirms the possibilities of hope, and allows the release of pain that assaults our every vulnerability. Yet loss is also clarifying. In the presence and practices of human mortality, standing in the bright light of a cemetery, the world, like a room from which a familiar chair has been taken away, looks different. Any and every removal only heightens awareness of what remains. An alteration in essential relationship changes one's responsibilities. Feeling, sensing the difference between yesterday and today is the bridge to every tomorrow. Lord and Heavenly Father, you have brought us safely to this new day. Keep us by your mighty power, protect us from sin, guard us from every kind of danger, and in all we do this day, direct us in the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the peace of God, which passes all understanding, Keep our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen.